How about it, folks? Hope you're doing great. I want to do a quick review on my Minn Kota trolling motor. I got this Avenger Bay boat. It's a 24 footer. I got it new a few months ago. And uh, one decision when you get a new boat is what trolling motor to put on it. It's a big deal. Should I get a 36 volt, um, 24 volt, 60 inch shaft, 72 inch shaft? So I want to go over a couple things with you real fast and see if it helps you make your decision. One of the first things you want to figure out is which bracket you're going to mount it to. This is the uh, Minn Kota bracket. It's aluminum. It's a MKA 51, I believe. It's what the dealer recommended um, over at Florida Family Marine. I'm real happy with it so far. It's pretty easy. It's also it's a quick release bracket, so you can pull this whole troll motor off, unplug it, put it in your garage, put it away for safekeeping. Um, I also I keep my back when I'm trailing the boat, when I'm taking it off the trailer or loading it up. That way it's not sticking out a little further and doesn't accidentally bump into this front roller or maybe even the dock as much. So you pull this little pin, slide this thing, it just uh, it slides forward, locks back into place. It's very easy. And during that process too, it'll pop right off. If I just wanna pop it off, I can pop it right off. Um, but obviously, pretend like I'm going fishing right now, I'm gonna lock it in. So I'm ready to fish all day long like this. It's got a place for a padlock right here. You can run a padlock through here, say you're um, staying at some waterfront place or your boat's on a trailer you can keep it uh, locked up for safekeeping so this is a good bracket working out good for me so far it's got a lot of holes mounted perfectly on my deck so i like it on this boat it's a 24 footer avenger makes a 24 foot bay boat and they also make a 26 footer i called a captain who runs this boat um he said the 60 inch worked great for him so that's what i went with it's a good choice because this is about how high i normally run it so a lot of times I'm, I'm flipping under mangroves or I'm skip casting and this, this is not in the way. If I would've got the 72 inch, it would've been up here a lot higher and it would've been in the way everywhere I wanted to fish this thing. So one pro to a 60 inch shaft is you can raise it up so you can fish shallow and not have it in the way all the time. The con is if you are in rough water offshore, say you're tarpon fishing by a bridge or you're throwing your cast net where the markers in Tampa Bay, if you get a couple guys in the back, both live wells going, the front's gonna wanna bounce a little bit. So you're gonna get a little cavitation from time to time. So depend on your style of fishing. The 60 inch works good um, for both things for me, but if you're fishing in very rough water, you are gonna have a problem with this thing coming out and losing a little grip from time to time. So that's one thing I wanna bring up to you. All right, I wanna tell you one last thing. Like I said, it's a 60 inch shaft. Um, the water line on this bow, it normally sits somewhere right around here. So you can see if you, if you ran this straight across, you have about approximately 30 inches of trolling motor, just a rough guess, in the water. So once again, if you're fishing offshore a lot, when it's all the way down, the 60 inch shaft on this lower profile style bay bow, I would say this style is similar to a Skeeter or a Pathfinder. Um, if you have one of those higher front, like a Blazer Bay or another really high front bay boat, you might want to go to 72 inch regardless. Um, something to think about. I went with a 36 volt troll motor because I want as much power, I want as much strength, uh, and be able to fish as long as possible with no issues. I went with the 60 inch, try to get the best of both worlds. Um, it works fine, but if you're gonna do a lot of offshore fishing, if you're fishing some rollers that are spread out and they're you know two foot or higher, you might have a little bit of problem. It's gonna it's gonna work, but you figure out what works best for you. All right, folks. I hope you enjoyed the quick review of the Minn Kota iPilot, the Tarova. Um, great troll motor. It helps me out when I'm fishing. So if you like the uh, content of this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or hit me up on Instagram, Eugene Cherry One. Thank you so much for watching, and I want to thank my sponsor, Gene Cherry Insurance. If you're in Florida. You need a quote on your boat, your truck, your house, your life, whatever it might be, your business. Um, look up the folks at Gene Cherry Insurance. They'll take good care of you. God bless you. God bless your family. And God bless America. Thank you so much.